We're going to have a walk up St Michael Street, then down the High Street to have a look at the market, and then into the King's Square and the Old Queen Square. So come with us and have a look if things have changed. I don't know so what that represents. there used to be a pub there as well, haven't there? Yes, uh, gosh, I can't remember what it was. Star and Garter, Garter, that's it, yeah. That's yeah. been knocked down now. And just down from there, you've got the Wheatshire. Now, interestingly, across here, this way, the Billy Hall. And that's, um, well, it used to be a Weatherspoons pub, but unusually for a Weatherspoons pub, it's closed down. It has, fortunately, reopened as, as another type of pub, but yeah, not even the Weatherspoons could keep opening West Bromwich. It's looking very nice though, isn't it? I have to say, it looks really appealing from the outside, and it's a shame because you know, years ago, people always said, oh, that weather spoon in West Bromwich is horrible. I think I've only been in twice, and, yeah, it wasn't the best weather spoon I'd been in, but, you know, it's in a lovely building, actually, isn't it? Yeah, the old billiard hall. Right, back up the high street. Now, I suspect that this has changed quite a lot. Actually, I think there's an information point about it over here. Oh, so I think this, I don't know, this is still called Paradise Street, or it used to be, look. Oh, was that the arcade that you were talking about, that you'd walk through? Yes, yeah, there was an arcade along the High Street in West Bromwich that I remember. It was a really old arcade that you would walk through. I've got a feeling that was the entrance, wasn't I think it? that was the entrance. Yeah, and it brought you out sort of more or less opposite the uh, King's Cinema that was. It looks like they're going to build homes now on this site, according to the advertisement on the fence. I think there's more and more of that going on in town centres, aren't they? Like trying to get houses and built it in the town centres themselves. Well, I think in certain town centres where things have got a little bit old and dilapidated, it's probably a good way to regenerate it. Because there's certainly been a shift in West Bromwich. The high street has moved from this area um, across yeah. to the new square. Certainly the bigger shops have gone there. You've still got McDonald's here though. That's, this has been here since the 80s, hasn't it, this McDonald's? Yeah, I, mean, I remember coming here as a child, probably in the late 70s. Yeah. And then you've got the Great Western Cafe. It used to be the Great Western Pub, didn't yeah. it? So I'm not sure where the entrance to that... Um, or would it have been here? To that arcade was. It might have been there. You know, this was a really thriving high street with lots of chain store names along here. You had um, Little Woods, British Home Stores, Clark's. I think Clark's was here up until quite recently. I mean, this is where it's all boarded up now, where Clark's was. And do you remember there used to be a big bakery shop here where this is all boarded up? Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah over there where it's all boarded up, there was a big bakery that my nan used to get her bread from. That used to be Littlewoods, that is new look now, I think. W -H yeah, it was oh, is that W.H. Was... Schmidt's? Home Bargains was, was W.H. Schmidt's, I think, yeah. There's a thriving market, isn't there? I mean, so there's lots of people about. Well, that Poundland's closed down then on the corner. 
think that used to be a clothes shop, didn't it? So shall we go and have a look in the King's Square and yeah. see what that's like? King's Square now. Eh? This used to be undercover from the King's Square to the Queen's Square. Do you remember that built like a little covered oh, bit yeah. that they've torn down? Yeah. Can you remember what shops used to be in Ooh, here? Oh, do you know what? I can't. I can't remember where this this Merca slots is. I can't remember what used to be here. I think it was a clothes shop. I remember Steve's discount store. Steve's discount was straight ahead. Um, there was a grocer's along here. There were lots of green grocers actually in West Bromwich. Look the standard ones, aren't they? The works, dragons. Yeah, that's yeah. But these are all new from when All we're of here. this is new, yeah. But they're open. Yeah. They're not closed. And there used to be an indoor market having their off here, which is quite a good indoor market. Yeah, we'll go and see if there's still an indoor market. So straight ahead, that home works used to be Steve's discount. That looks like a fabric y bed shop. And down, down there used to be. Uh, I think there was another bit. There was another big yeah. um, clothes shop down there. Should we just have a little quick walk down yeah. there? And because this is where you'd go to the King Cinema, wasn't yeah. it? Yeah, was it Peacocks. Peacocks. Yeah. That's. Or McKay's. One of the two, no, McKay's it? was by the bus station in the Queen Centre. I think this was Peacock's and then it was a 99 pence shop or something. But back in the 80s, I can't quite remember what it would have been. I remember queuing to see Superman here. Do you? In 1978. Wow. The last time I remember, I think this was a 99 pence shop. There you go, Lee. Shop, yeah. Shop for our next cruise. Yeah. Yeah, this is all totally changed since I was up here, yeah. This was well this might have been the 99 pence shop. Yeah, I think it was. Um years ago was this the King's or so that was the King's Cinema there, wasn't it? And Spark was it Sparkles, the nightclub? It had a few names, didn't it? It was uh, Sparkles, was it Sandy's, Tokyo Joe's? It had a few, uh, a few iterations, that did. And where the bus station is now, that used to be a car park, didn't it? Yeah. And I think that old little arcade used to come out there. And then you'd, yeah, I'd queue up here to go and see. I remember queuing up to see Ghostbusters. Yeah. That was 1984? I can't remember what year, but I remember queuing up to see that. I think on the positive side, we haven't been uh, scared, intimidated or stabbed yet. <laughs> 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 There's still time. <laughs> oh, that's it. Look on the bright side. Glass half empty. Yeah. No, but it's a lot busier and thriving than I thought it would be. There's loads of people around. It's a yeah. Wednesday today. Um, but it's busy. Yeah. I said, this is different because you didn't go into the market from oh, here, oh, did you? He went in further down there. Again, this is quite busy. Yes. Compared to some indoor markets that we've been to, like uh, Rougely, 
know that he's just dead. You know, there are stalls on this indoor market. I mean, I know a lot do seem like there are some that are closed. And when we were little, everyone would have been full. But that's the way the world's gone, hasn't it? Yeah, there's uh, less money about these days for buying things. I mean, we used to have to come and get our kids' school uniform from up here. Do you remember? Yeah. From in here. There was like the uniform place that you had to come to. Gosh, neck curtains. Does anybody buy neck curtains now? Obviously, some people do because they're still selling them. This isn't as bad as I thought it would be, the indoor market. I, I thought no. it would be a lot worse than this. This was the, uh, so this is, we're going out the way we've come in before. Yeah, you used to come in this way, didn't you? Yeah, look, it was opened in 1973. I know my uncle Max, who's town clerk of West Bromwich, opened up, I can't remember if it's the Kings or the Queen's Square. Yeah, gosh, I remember those toilets have been there. Oh, there's the uniform shop now. And you used to go through there to Woolworths, didn't you? Yeah. I think there used to be a dry cleaners along here. Um, There's a good variety of shops, even, you know, they're like little independent shops, but and not too many are closed, like a lot of them are open, which is good news. Yeah. And then years ago, I think that used to be a bank where Homeland is. Shall we go in here? Shall we go and have a look in here and yeah. then we can take a look in the Queen Square? That used to be, I think it was OK Walker's furniture shop as well, over there. This has changed as well, like they've um, actually changed the inside of it here, it seems wider. Yeah, there used to be Thorntons, H. Samuels. Chelsea Girl, and then that became River Island, that used to be over there. There used to be some travel agents along here. Oh, they've still got H. <coughs> Samuel. Yeah, the Boots has always been there, hasn't it? Yeah. And this big shop here used to be Dulce. Do you remember Dulce? The big shoe shop. And McKay's was on the corner here where it's this empty building at SF. Shall we go go down each little one? Yeah. Yeah. 
all the fountains in here and lots of seating. Um, yeah, used to be painted only one of them. There used to be a big lump of coal as well. Yeah, I wonder what they did with that. You know, when they obviously took it out, I wonder where they put it. All the older people used to come and sit in here. I mean, even up until about ten years ago, I think all that seating was still here in the fountain, wasn't it? Gosh, oh, this is all very empty, don't wow. This is totally closed down, down here. This, um, down here used to be the old bus station. And you'd got McKay's on the left, you'd got Preedy's, the newsagents, Taylor's, the bakery. Um, Was it this end or the other end you got that vacuum cleaner repair man? I can't remember, but oh, my auntie's shop was here, the sewing box. Um. That was one of these shops, because it moved from the other end down to here. Boots has always been here. And then next door to Boots was Mother Care, wasn't it? And where Poundland is now, that used to be Tesco. Was Woolworths in here? No, no, Woolworths was never here. Woolworths was on the High Street. Yeah, that was Tesco. Do you remember when you went upstairs at Tesco? Yeah. Gosh, everything's everything closed down down there. They used to, this was a bit of a ramp, a little bit of a slope when you walked down here, wasn't it? Yeah, that's right. And then there were stairs down from where the old police station used to be. That's it. You'd walk up towards there and... Uh, this look, the this looks very different now. Um, I think the, right at the end there used to be a baby shop and then there was the camera shop. Was it Bells? Oh, yeah. And there was a vacuum... Shop. Shop, yeah. That was there. It was good, I like that bloke. Yeah, that's totally changed down here. So should we go up to the... Yeah, and the old Sainsbury's. This used to be the uh, MEB showroom, I think. Was it that side or was it the other side? Yeah, there was, there was, yeah, there was a gas showroom that side, the MEB place that side. Gosh, Holland and Barrett is still here. This is like, I'm amazed that Holland and Barrett is here. Yeah, there used to be a pub there. It was, it was the Farriers. This clearance bargain shop used to be Sainsbury's um, and it was then Quick Save. It now looks like it's, and there was a restaurant at the top, it was a Sainsbury's restaurant. It now looks like it's a, a very, very small clearance shop with just a few crackers in it. That's very bizarre. You can 
Nothing in there. It's tiny. And and up here used to be druckers. Let's just have a look. What's at the top now? There used to be um, a charity shop. There was a grocer's, my auntie's sewing shop used to be here as well at one time. Because you'd go up here and left to the multi-storey car park. Remember? The multi-storey car park's been knocked down there. Yeah. Oh, so it's no entry now. So far so good, shall we head back towards the, uh, the new bit? Yeah, yeah. Or are we going down to the high street first? Oh yeah, we've got to finish the high yeah, street. Yeah, we've got to finish the high street. We've took a diversion into the, the, the shopping centre, you know, was open the year I was born. Gosh, 1958. You don't think it looks old as you. Yeah. Amazing, isn't it? <laughs> So join us next time and we'll carry on walking up West Bromwich High Street, have a look what's up there and then we'll also venture into the new Queen Square to see what new retail outlets are based there. See you then, bye!